What's going on, everybody? This is an episode from the No Gimmicks Needed Wrestling Podcast. Do you like podcasts and you want to see the full podcast? Make sure you check out the No Gimmicks Needed Wrestling Podcast on all your podcast platforms, such as Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, among many others. But you're listening to the episode right here on YouTube, so make sure you hit that like button and below, and make sure you hit the subscribe button to NC Studios and NC Level Up for all your gaming needs. This is the Nerd Coalition. Enjoy the show. SummerSlam. 2021 we have an eight match card probably nine match card not sure yet uh they are just focused on names at this point for the summer slam opposed to i mean now there's already now we'll, we'll address this because by the time of recording this we don't know what situation is going to be there is a strong possibility that Bianca Belair and the Sasha Banks match could be canceled at SummerSlam. Mm-hmm. Because of, quotations, unforeseen circumstances. Yep. Cough, we, cough. we know what this is, right? Yep. It's COVID. I'm so sick and mm-hmm. tired of them. Like, you know, to own your shit. I, I'm so sick and tired of them trying to hide behind this. Them ladies probably got COVID. Why would you pull both of them for or unforeseen? not not have it, but like have been in contact with somebody? Okay, you know, so yeah. they trying to just be precautious. Kind of like kind of like the Ben Simmons and Joel and beef and they had to stop not paying also again because they, they came in contact with the barber that had COVID. So yeah, it is a possibility that they came in contact with somebody that had COVID, and unforeseen circumstances like unless unless both of these women was at the bar fighting or. They, they both was at a drive-by together. No, it, it, it's about being sick or about being co- coming in contact with somebody. Now, me personally, I don't. we don't know the actual facts. This is me expressing my opinion. But we don't know the actual facts of what's going on. So, as of right now, we will still grade this match as if it's going, it's going to happen. Okay. But if it doesn't happen, that is a huge blow to SummerSlam. Mm-hmm. Because... I'm not saying I don't want anybody to get sick, but I give two shits about Seamus and Damian Priest or Drew McIntyre and Jinder Mahal. Yeah. So, that has right. to be honest with you. Uh, <clears throat> so, let's go on to SummerSlam. Let's get these matches out the way. Let's start off with Seamus taking on Drew Damian Priest for the United States Championship. Just only we need a discussion. Damian Priest. Yeah. First of all, in my personal opinion, Prime, let me ask you. Which one would you rather see on the Summer Stand card? This match or Apollo taking on Nakamura? Depending on the... Uh, okay. From from potential, I would rather see Apollo and Nakamura. But from seeing that Apollo and Nakamura match, I kind of want to see what Damian Priest and Sheamus can Yeah. See, I mean, I, I, I was like, why can't they give us... The, the Priest and Sheamus match on Raw and give us Apollo and Nakamura. Because, see, I just don't like the way they, they've been treating Apollo. Yeah. And to be honest with you, they haven't been treating Sheamus as a champion that much better neither. Even though he was injured. It, it, even though he was injured, but, but still, I mean, like, they gave they gave Apollo nothing. He did mm-hmm. all this character change, which people were starting to get invested in. And y'all, y'all just took the rug from underneath him, y'all, and he was a champion. Y'all mm-hmm. did nothing with this guy. Yep. And Apollo get frustrated and want to leave. I'm not mad at him. Because now it's like, what what can you do? He did everything. Uh, but yeah, I, I got Damian Priest as well. Drew, now, this match could have been much bigger, but I, I the build was just not that great. But these are two these are two former friends that they, they wanted to have this as a the championship match that Drew was a champion. But Jinder uh, Jin got injured. So, Drew McIntyre taking on Jinder Mahal. Who wins? Uh, I don't think I care, but sure. Let's give it to Drew. I think it has to be Drew, too. Do you think they can have a good matchup, or Jinder Mahal is going to go back to the knees? <sighs> oh, God. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, I'm skipping this match. But, uh, I don't, it's just, I, these two, I don't want to see, like, I don't know what happened to Drew, but it's just I don't want to see Drew at the moment. It's like they turned him into a history teacher. He was like teaching people, you know, back in the 1600s. He was actually doing that. He was actually being a teacher. 
and, and, and gender has a motorcycle gimmick. I don't. It's just. Yeah, I, I don't yeah, know. As, the, as people, people said, I'm uh, not going to be watching. The not-so-American badass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, with or without Denise, I'm not going to be watching it. Why don't he just go back to, not go back to the gimmick, but have the same kind of gimmick as, as he was? You sure the modern-day Maharaja? Yeah. Not not be the modern-day Ma- but you know, like, have that same, like, almost royalty type of gimmick. Not, not I'm a motorcycle rider. I guess because like, he, he got Apollo. Do they? I mean, by 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 vision, by 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 the eye test, they do. They, they don't know they got a problem. I ain't seen them. Yeah, it 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 sucks. Uh, I got Drew McIntyre also, and I think mm-hmm. the, the, Drew McIntyre is the overexposure thing. The we know it's going to be on the pre-show if we just wait for the word. So the Usos taking on the Mysterios. For the tag team championship, this is not the matchup I thought was going to happen at SummerSlam. Uh, because if we was a fancy book this card, last year we'll be going up against Lesnar. The Street possibly going up against the Usos. Bianca Belair and Sasha be going up against each other. The two after falls. I think with with uh, Montez being hurt or whatever he was for so long, they, they missed the build up. Yeah. It, 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 like I said, it's, it's very it's very unfortunate of things that that's been happening with them and stuff like that. But it's just like you know, if I was a fantasy book like the summer set, if Bailey didn't get injured, Bailey and Becky would be dope. If they and then mm-hmm. it'd be Brock and Bobby would be dope. I'll keep Reigns and Cena. Uh, I, I will keep Charlotte and Rhea. Be honest with you, I will keep Bianca and Sasha. Uh, I will so keep. What, so what? So so Becky and uh, Bailey just fighting for no reason, not for a belt. No. It, 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 first of all, it's the comeback match. Okay. Ba- Bailey's been hot before she got injured, especially being that great heel. Be- Becky comes back because people love to hate Bailey, but people love to cheer uh, Becky, and you you, you 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 give her you give her that warm up matchup. And then me personally, I would have uh, Keith Lee in this card to face. First, he probably would have been champion by now. To be honest with you. If I fantasy booking it, and oh, you know, Usos and Street Profits, uh, there also is another matchup that may be added. That's why I said possibly, possibly nine, but we'll we'll get to that uh, in just a bit. Uh, maybe, maybe the Mysterios win it back because they keep, you know, having this alcoholic win. So uh, I don't know what they're gonna do with the Usos at all. But they've been getting the better half of the Mysterios for the past couple weeks. I'm going to go with the Mysterios. I'm going to go with the Usos. Really? Unfortunately, it seems like when they get a DUI, they just don't lose. But for how long now? I don't know. <laughs> so, all right. Oh, we're cool with that. Uh now, here's the match that is supposed to be added to the card probably on Raw tonight. We got AJ Styles and Omos taking on Team RK Bro. That has to be added onto the onto the card. It has to be. Well, yeah, they really going to leave AJ Styles out of SummerSlam? Should they left Keith Lee out of SummerSlam, but he was sick. But we'll get to that later. Uh, but Keith Lee, I mean, but, but AJ is a champion. You are right. But so was Apollo. Well, actually, Nakamura is not going to be on that either. Exactly. So, uh, if, if if that match happens, RK Bro wins it. What do you um, say? I mean, I can see what you. I just, all right, me. I'm going to just say me personally. I just don't want to see Randy Orton and Matt Riddle together. No, like, I, I want to see them together. I don't want to see them as champions together. That makes sense. But it's, I also don't really. First of all, AJ needs to get back into the singles stuff. Yeah, I also don't care for AJ and almost as a team either. But like, both of these teams are makeshift teams. Like, the Viking Raiders are a real team. You know, that's the only real team they got on on, on Raw. Give me another one. I can't. I don't, I don't see. Can't you, you don't know because they don't have any. All the teams are makeshift. Mason T Bar. Mm-hmm. Makeshift uh, well, Ali I mean, well, and uh, Major T Bar is, is actual team now. Uh, 
Would you rather see T Bar or would you rather see Dodger Kobe? I'd rather see Dodger Kobe. All right, that's make sure. Yes. Uh, uh, Ali and the other guy are make sure. All the teams are make sure. Like Eric and Ivar are like the only true team on on Raw. Well, I, I say they give it to RK bro because they've been teasing Randy Orton trying to get RK on uh, Omos, and I think that's going to be the payoff when he finally gets the RK on, on Omos and uh, wins the dead weight. The fact that you. The, the, the fact that you think Omos is taking the bump. <laughs> you know what? I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, put, I'm calling it right now. Omos takes the RKO. I'm saying it right now. I can see him taking the double RKO, or I can see Randy Orton like getting on the top rope and trying to RKO and jumping off and doing an RKO from behind like that. But just a straight up jumping RKO on Omos, I don't think he's. Is he equipped to take that bump? <laughs> Shit, Big Show did, so I might as well. But Big Show is a trained wrestler. Yeah, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm I'm calling it now. He takes the R. If it is just, if this match happens, he takes the RKO. Okay. Uh, next matchup. Let's see. Get get, get all the, the 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 kind of boring was out the way. Triple Threat match for the for the Raw Women's Championship. Nikki Ash <laughs> taking on Charlotte Flair and Rhea Ripley. Does Charlotte get back her championship to make up twelve time champion? Does Rhea Ripley get the championship back and go into Survivor Series like I thought? Or does Nikki Ash pull off the miracle? At this point, uh, okay, wait. Before I send my answer, who do, who else do we have to challenge after after this is over? Uh, I don't know where the fuck Oscar's at. I mean, I can start building up Naomi again. And okay, so maybe Oscar, maybe Naomi, maybe Alexa. Yeah, okay. if, they, if they turn Alexa back to, you know, the goddess. Okay. I am going to say Nikki wins. Ugh. Because I don't want to see Charlotte with the title. And Rhea, they kind of, they kind of like soured her. So I think she needs to be built up a little bit. Uh, and I, I don't want Nikki to have this title for long, so I say she loses it before Survivor Series. Mm. That's just a me thing. I got you. I I don't want to pick. I don't. I really do not want to pick Nikki Ash. I really don't want to pick Nikki Ash. But you know what? Oh fuck! I'm going Rhea Ripley. Okay. I want Rhea Ripley to get get the championship, so I get that Rhea versus Bianca at Survivor Series. Rhea Ripley takes it back. I have no problem with Rhea winning. I just think that her she needs to do something to to build herself back up. Because her when she came, the only person she had a match with when she came up is Oscar and Charlotte. The only two people she's had a match with since coming up to the main roster. Fair. Every week is Charlotte or Oscar. So I just I need her to do something different. So that's why I said give it to Nikki Ash for a little bit, let Rhea build herself up, keep Charlotte away from the title picture, and then maybe before summer, before Survivor Series, uh, Rhea can win the title again and fight Bianca. Okay, I'm not mad at either. Uh, you 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 know you're probably right. <laughs> Edge taking on Seth Rollins in a singles match. I think this is uh, one of the matches I really am looking forward to. This should be a dope matchup. And uh, the build for this matchup actually has, has been kind of dope for it. I see... <sighs> is Edge at the put-over stage yet? Or you think he's still got... Like... Is he at the put-over? Edge is like 50. Yes, he's at the put-over uh, stage. I'm like, okay, yeah, so you know what? I got Seth, this, the, the Seth Rollins is winning this one. Cause you I mean, from- but let's, but let's be honest. So Edge has won, kind of won a lot, though, since he's been back. But he's lost a big match. So it, it kind of makes sense for Edge. Fair. That's what, that's what I'm saying. So I, he's the put-over guy. You need to, you need Seth Rollins to kind of get back into that title hunt, title picture type scene. So I can definitely see uh, Seth Rollins pulling off the win here. It, but I think the match should be dope, though. Yeah, I, I have Seth winning. I just hope this is not a typical Edge 2021 20, match where the match goes up for 45 minutes and they don't pick it up until after 30. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, no. I, yeah. 
I hope this is. I, I hope, hope this. Because first of all, does Edge take the Superplex Falcon Zero? Yeah, I think he could take it. Okay. Does he take the Buckle Bomb? Now that I don't know. <laughs> Remember, that's the one that almost got killed, the Stanger. Yeah, one, one of them retired somebody, technically retired somebody, one of them did. So, I mean, yeah. You know. And it was banned. So, I don't know if it's still banned, but I know it was banned. Uh huh. So, yeah, uh, I actually would like to see Edge. If he does, though, I can see. Edge reversing the suplex. I mean, the, the he takes the suplex but reverses the Falcon Arrow, and he does the educator. Oh, that that would be dope. I can see him doing that. That so, that that will be dope. We'll see. We will see. Uh, huh, let's go on to now. We get we, we had the big big matches. Bobby Lashley versus Goldberg for the WWE Championship. No question. Don't don't you say it. This is Bobby Lashley. Okay, I'm about to say don't you. Because if say this is if this is Goldberg, I mean it's just it's, I don't know how many matches gonna be left, but I might I might not have to. You know, I might have to. I'm, I'm about to say if, if Goldberg beats Bobby Lashley, I'm. Because I was joking with the Saudi thing, but I actually cut it off after he won. I was like, wow, this just sucks. Actually, that probably was the last match. I don't know. But still, it's like, just, uh, yeah, nah, Lashley needs to win this. Especially with how strong they've been booking him. Uh, Lashley definitely. Especially how strong they've been booking him since he let go of all the the, the, the partying and all that kind of stuff. And he's been serious. Yeah. I agree. I think that, I, I, I think that'd be dope, yeah. So, uh, Bobby Lashley wins. I want Hurt Lock, you know, Destruction from this man. That's okay. what I want. So you want? No, I, I kind of want Goldberg to suffer. Uh, yeah, he's suffering a hurt lot. Uh, for some reason, to me, Goldberg doesn't look believable in the in the hurt lot. I don't know. Maybe it's because he just bigger than a normal people, but he's still fifty. Like, I want him to like get pinned. So you want him to get like Actually, dominated? Oh. I would love they do it and get Kofi, <laughs> but with Spears, because I know Goldberg ain't taking no dominator. So I can see him spearing him three times. With Goldberg barely like getting up, and just to add insult to injury, uh-huh. attempts, attempts to do the jackhammer, just just to you know for insult to injury. I think Bob is strong enough to, to do a, a jackhammer suplex. I think he he can do it. He, he he's not giving. First of all, can Goldberg take the take the jackhammer? Well, if he got a broken neck, we'll see. Wow. They should try just like they just like they tried with Undertaker, and what happened? If it happens, it happens. I mean, Goldberg, you know. Bobby Lashley let wins this. Let me stop. And, 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 <laughs> I, I know. Bobby, you crazy stuff. Bobby Lashley wins this, hands down, and he better not lose the championship <laughs> because. Don't ruin my my almighty taking on the you know tribal chief. Huh. Let's go on to like the, the the top two matches in my opinion. Bianca Belair taking on Sasha Banks if this things happens. Uh, the rematch from WrestleMania for the SmackDown Women's Championship. This is a matchup that I'm telling you was looking forward to. They had one of the best matches at WrestleMania, especially on night one, and of course. They want a lot of history from it, the SB stuff like that. And there's a lot of history that goes on with these two. And this was the match that was, to me, as soon as it happened, I was like penciling the rematch for SummerSlam. So, mm-hmm. they, they, these women found a way to have chemistry. They got the black girl chemistry going on. So, I'm like, I'm happy for them. I want to see this match do it. And I honestly think, like, I know Sasha will put Bianca over, but I'm, I'm like, do they want to keep the story going? Or do they want to? Because, see, usually, after... SummerSlam, it'd be like Hell in a Cell. And I'm like, Bianca and Sasha, Hell in a Cell, give it to me. But they, they made Hell in a Cell so fucking early uh, this year. So, like, now Extreme Rules, which for some reason is after SummerSlam. And I'm like, 
Or is it going to continue? Because if Sasha loses, why does she get another match up with Bianca Belair? Because there's nobody on the roster. But I'm still going to... I'm going to go Bianca. I'm still going to Bianca. Yeah, I would go with Bianca too, but I do think she needs to do something. But I don't know what it is. I, I think I think I know I think I know what she needs a heel turn. Well, not even not even necessarily. I just like, she, yeah, a heel turn a heel turn could work. But I'm just saying, like far as her run has been, it just doesn't. It just don't feel. It don't feel like you know uh, satisfying. That if that makes sense. Well, you know, t- t- two things about her run because and once I don't blame Bianca Belair for any of this. I think one her, her her run with the championship one is due to the lack of a SmackDown roster. She had nobody. She, she beat Carmella how many times? Selena Vega yeah. is not no threat to Bianca Belair, and that's why she she didn't put in pair with Bailey. Her and Bailey had a damn good rivalry, but then the Bailey thing you know was over. That's that Bailey's all they had. If they brought up you know Tony Storm or if they had some more quality women to go up against Bianca throughout the months, then I think she would have she would have had more better matches and, you know, better title defenses against these women to build Sasha Banks. And two, Bianca has to also change the I'm happy to be here act. Oh, I've been wanting her to change that since before WrestleMania when she won the Rumble. I was like, yo, that's not Bianca. I'm just yes. so happy to be here. I'm so happy I won. I'm so happy. Bailey, you're good, but ooh, I don't beat you. Ooh, yes. Oh, yeah. Like, no. I, 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 I really want her to show the EST. But once again, I think Vince looks at, at the EST as a heel gimmick because you're cocky, you're confident. Now, dare a uh, babyface be cocky and confident like, I don't know, Stone Cold, The Rock, Macho Man, but you know, just to name a few of faces that were cocky and, you know, had that answer that it just sold. I think that she needed to strongly uh, do the EST thing. That's what I'm saying. She shouldn't be like, you know, Bianca, you on. She should be like, Bianca, I'm the EST. I'm talking yeah, Sasha. She, I'm, I, the, I, I'm the EST. And this is I what I do. Bianca, I want the Bianca that was like, uh-uh. <laughs> it, is that, yeah. <laughs> you don't even go here. here. Yeah, I, yeah that's the, I, I love that Bianca. But once again, she was a heel, though. She was, a, she was transformational. She, well, look, she she not that now, but I, I'm thinking she needs to kind of get back to like if if this match does happen, she needs to have an aggressive streak. You Sasha been owning her ass for the past two weeks. Mm-hmm. Like you, you don't have Sasha be on your she ass. Don't like her, that. She don't give her receipt with the uh, with the tail whip. That's what it looked like they're building to. It's her Sasha keeps using the ponytail to her advantage, and Bianca's gonna get her with the tail whip again. Yeah, but. So probably I, probably, I, I, I got probably in the same spot, so they they can do it before and after. What'd you say? Probably in the same spot, so that they can do it before and after picture. Oh, okay. You know, I, I didn't think of that. Probably so. Uh, so now we we're down to the, the main event. Main event: Roman Reigns taking on John Cena. I, I, we, we we've seen them come back. We've seen we see Cena come back. We see them exchange blows. You know, Cena's not giving a fuck, and they finally put some more heat on this matchup on SmackDown than he did building up to it. It was just a record. It was just relying on name here, and I was just like, well, we we need to do a little. We need to do do a little bit more than just that. So they finally did it, but now. Is it going to be all he got to do is hang in there for the one, two, three, or tribal chief? Look, I know I'm just selling it right here, but to be honest with you, we, we know Roman ain't losing that championship. We do know, but I got a question for you, right? Uh-huh. What if like the the finish of the match, right? The finish of the match happens? Yeah. Or the supposed finish of the match? If John Cena don't care, what if he kicks out of the, the, what's supposed to be the full finish of the match, right? Like, do you think he'll get? You think he cares about getting invited back or messing up the score? He just don't care. John Cena is somebody who doesn't give a fuck, but he's not a burnt a bridge guy. He's not a CM Punk guy. Okay, I was I, like, 
if he don't care, he could just like mess up the whole thing. Yeah, like, like, because, 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 one, you don't also like he, he, he don't. I, John Cena don't give a fuck about how Vince feels about him coming at his his company. John Cena don't give a fuck about what he says about the company because John Cena can see that the WWE is not uh, uh it's not going in, in the right direction. So, with that being said, but when it comes to like match quality and getting somebody over, because you know, even though on character, you know, him Roman's going at, he probably respects Roman Reigns. He want to get him over, obviously, so he could beat John Cena, and, and especially with him be having the best run of his life. So yeah, I I think uh, John Cena cares about that way, but he don't give a fuck about if he wants to bring up Dean Ambrose to see him punk on TV. So I got Roman Reigns winning. Yeah, I got Roman uh, winning too. Uh, I got, I got Cena, I got Cena doing what, uh, all right, I went back and I watched some Cena matches, because for some reason they've been uploading tons of Cena matches on uh, YouTube. Every time this guy loses, he, he pouts. For Cena? And I didn't notice, yes, and I didn't notice that until now. Wow. Like, he, like, he sits, either sits by the ropes looking like, oh, man, I lost, or he, like, ex- uh, fiercely exit the ring. And then, like, just sit there, like, I don't, I don't know. I was, you know, he, he, they show him, they show him openly pouting. I watched three matches that he did that on. So I was like, maybe that's just his thing and nobody noticed it. I just thought it was funny to bring that up. I know. I ain't noticed that until now. Well, guys, that's our, that, those are our predictions. That was our SummerSlam predictions. So, if you listen to us on YouTube, make sure you post out the comments down below what your predictions are for some of the same how you think it's going to turn out. And to the podcast, hold on still because we got to move on. <laughs>